Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a rainbow all in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and I've created a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the toolbar and grab the ellipse tool. Just left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And then we'll position that circle in the middle of the artboard. Now by default, we have a white fill here and a black stroke. Now we're going to select the white fill and click none just to remove that, but we'll keep the black stroke. And from the stroke panel on the right, we're going to increase that stroke weight. And you can have this set to whatever you like. This is going to be the thickness of one bar in your rainbow. So imagine this is one color and then we'll have another one which is another color. So this is the thickness of each individual segment of your rainbow. And just make sure that the align stroke is set to align stroke to inside. That's the middle option. And remember this stroke weight here. So ours is 50. So with this selected, we're going to go to object, path and offset path. Turn on that preview and you guessed it, offset that by the same amount as the stroke weight. So in this case, 50. And we'll click OK. Now we can jump into outline mode, which is Command or Control Y on the keyboard. And you can see it looks like this. And we'll keep that selected. And we'll go to Object, Path, Offset, Path again. OK. Yeah, this does get a bit repetitive. So I think we've got our red, orange, and yellow. I'm just trying to remember my rainbow from my days at school. We've got our green, one more, blue, and we'll repeat this one more time for purple. So again, Command or Control Y to go into outline mode. It looks something like this. Now, if we select everything, you can see it extends outside of the artboard. If we do want to scale this down, I would recommend at this stage going to the transform panel. If you don't see that on the right, it's up at window down to transform and just making sure you have scale strokes and effects checked and you can scale towards the center by holding shift and alt and if you don't have that option checked your strokes will be a different size later on now this does actually change the weight of our stroke, you can see here we've got 30.752, but we've actually finished creating our strokes, so at this stage it doesn't actually matter. So the next thing we're going to do is select our innermost stroke. Make sure the stroke is selected in the toolbar, and from the swatches panel, just pick a color. And we can go through and just pick the various colors to match the color of a rainbow, or you can just freestyle and make up you know, your own rainbow. Just invent a new rainbow, why not? Now, of course, I've just picked these. Purple, isn't it? Yeah, purple, there we go. So I've just clicked these default swatches in Photoshop. You can, of course, select them, double click on the swatch, and it will load this up in a separate window. And then you can go and adjust the values of that swatch. Just turn on the preview. And you can go and adjust this as much as you like. If you like a slightly different shade of every single color, which I definitely recommend. And you can fine tune that as much as you like. And then once you're happy, what you do next is get the direct selection tool and just drag over this bottom area. And you'll see that it just selects a bunch of anchor points and we've not actually selected enough. So we've missed these out the selection. So we'll try that again with the direct selection tool. So essentially we want to grab all of these anchor points, everything under that halfway line. So if you imagine there's a horizontal line across the middle there, we want to drag over everything underneath and then just hit delete or backspace on the keyboard. And then it leaves us with a rainbow. And we can go into outline mode, which is command or control Y. And at the moment, these are all still editable strokes. But if we drag over everything with the main selection tool, we can go to Object, Expand, Leave Fill and Stroke checked. And then if we go back in Outline Mode, we can see that these are now no longer strokes. They are in fact all individual shapes 
with their own fill. So we can click this and instead of the stroke now having the color, the fill now has the color. So we could go back into the purple one, for example, just double click that swatch and fine tune the purple until it's something that we're happy with. And you can go and do this for every single color. And then when you're happy, drag over everything, go to object and group. And there we go, we're done. And there we go. That's how to create a rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. That was, that was nice, wasn't it? Everyone loves rainbows. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.